Blessings, beloveds. I wanted to take a moment, make this video, and kind of expand on the latest intel, the latest messages, and the energies that are happening right now because they are a vital part of our ascension process. This eclipse, eclipse, solstice passage is really kind of snowballing the energies and in intensifying them, which intensifies the themes for 2021. So the revelation gate that opened in December, obviously, is pushing us into a brand new level of perception of our truth, the truth, the external, and also revealing a lot of things that are hidden behind the veil, which is always part of the ascension process. But we're getting into a very unique energy and frequencies that are aimed at your DNA, the codes within your DNA and frequencies that are aimed at creating a different experience. So your crystalline DNA, your divine DNA, the etheric stuff, is providing an experience. It's how your higher self directs the experience and manages the experience of what you can handle, what you can't handle, what you could be opened up to, etc., what the body can handle. And as we get into crystalline light body activation and some of these unique frequencies that are starting to flow into the planetary consciousness, it creates amplification. It creates acceleration. So the very first thing for, for this month was about May consistency, right? So I've been a gatekeeper for a while, receiving messages about when solar activity, heightened activity is going to happen. And for those of us who work with the Stargate system, you see and feel and interact with that just to allow these new energies to come in. And the, the predictive part of being a gatekeeper comes for me in December and I receive like all, the, all the, the intel for the entire year. And then we go month by month breaking it down. And it's become so accurate over the last 10 years or so that I, I just kind of kick back whenever there's not a, a gateway. Like you actually don't have to work and be on, on duty during those phases because activity was going, you know, the stargates ebb and flow just like everything. However, the message for May was consistent. And it's the very first time there haven't been specific passages or whatever it was like. It's going to be consistent every day is going to have a unique energy, a unique response, a unique connection, a unique influx of this crystalline plasma, or the new light frequencies that are aimed at giving your DNA an activation and a new experience, specifically new perception of a new experience. So this message opened with, May consistency is taking on a new level. Ever since the gateway opening mid-April, if you've been following, uh, following the articles, if you're part of the newsletter, Crystalline Collective, or following me on social media, uh, that's where you can connect with this material. But we've been talking about, there was a very significant opening in the Stargate system in mid-April. I had to go up to Southern Utah to hit some unique spots but we've been seeing these giant crystal monoliths coming out of the ground and obelisks and, and new flows and new energies. So everything was getting aligned so that May could be this consistency. So now the energies are kind of hammering away at shattering the veils, which is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. But as we focus on that, it starts unfolding with things that you can apply to your process. So deep, self-evaluation is needed as we prepare for these full-blown ascension frequencies. Full-blown acceleration. Zero point is amplified to cause revelation within and without. Oh my goodness, brothers and sisters, I have been feeling that a lot lately. Kind of a new level of zero point within the heart. Of course, this is the crystalline stargate of your heart. This is where your, your Christ, your crystalline source spark exists. And when you tap into zero point, I've noticed a new level of heart consciousness, unity consciousness being experienced, uh, especially during the Sunday 
unity meditations. Yes, we're still doing those after five years. Every Sunday, join us. But I noticed like the field getting stronger, that energy getting stronger and opening the perception, opening the perception, the expansion of consciousness. So you're getting this stronger source point energy uh, coming in that does, it alters your consciousness. And I've noticed my perception is completely changing consistently since that acceleration point, that opening happened back in December, stepped up again last month. So I feel this collective knows what inner shifts are required for the organic experience. So heed your inner wisdom and be a responsible creator. Remember, these frequencies read your divine DNA like a quantum archive. Cosmic wisdom knows what your highest choices and highest trajectory are. Revelation of this higher path requires change or the dismantling can get intense. And let's just visit that for a moment, knowing that the codes activate the DNA that knows your highest trajectory. And the only way to get that highest trajectory to be a palpable experience, to experience that as your reality, is to cooperate, co-create, and really be discerning in divine neutrality about where you put your energy, because there are a lot of agendas coming at people and you need to be sovereign in your experience, that creator state of consciousness where you are now co-creating as a conduit of source. It's quite beautiful. Alrighty. This passage continues to reveal increasing cosmic and planetary activity. Flares are firing as, as I wrote this a couple days ago. Self-revelation -re on a vast scale is upon us with unique effects in all of the divine fractals walking in this beautiful planet. No judgment on other people's experience. Be sovereign in your own. Note the shift in, shifts in perception. This is huge. This is lifting of the veils. So even if you had parameters around what you expected for lifting of the veils, this is getting into pure heart consciousness and that overwrites all of the nonsense. So you're going to see and feel and hear your own heart in a very unique way. And of course, that's moment by moment choices. First lunar eclipse is Wednesday, May 26 at 4.18 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So there's a full super blood moon on that day. And this is a choice point for full engagement with the new trajectory, your own highest trajectory. I will bet that there have been things in your field that you want to create or you thought you were going to create and then they collapsed, but you still have a heart choice in your field for ascension. You probably wouldn't be watching this uh, otherwise now. Revelation and freedom codes are going to flow through these stargates and that is for you to choose to use those codes or not use those codes. So there's a lot of intel on my web website about how to use those, of course, and in the courses. All right, so surrender of beliefs about you and source. This becomes uncomfortable after this point to carry old or distorted agendas forward. So even if you're someone who has decided to uh, focus on agendas or whatever, you're going to find that collapsing because those programs and those agendas are collapsing. Thank you. Hear you. Thank you. All right. So the limiting parameters for what is your reality choice are blown wide open. Of course, all of us conduits, anchors of that new experience so it can spread throughout the collective. Shifts in perception, the acceleration of dismantling as well as divine truth dismantling, of course, you know, been in a domino effect ever since 2020, that dismantling thing that was predicted in December 2019, like watch for it, it's going to be global. Here we are. Clarity on what stays and what goes in your chosen reality. Do the inner work. If you're managing to watch this one, I first posted beautiful, but the eclipse is like something you feel, it's not something you watch. So the eclipse energy is already there. That gate is already open. 
we're using this, so you apply this to your personal journey, you're going to have to take a look at the inner and say, what is it? What is it that is being revealed about my personal journey, about myself, what I see and feel myself doing, am I being in the now, or am I constantly projecting a down the line that will happen? I'm going to pull everything into the now. Lovely. All right. So the second eclipse, the solar eclipse, happens on Thursday, June 10th at 3.41 a.m. Pacific time. There's a new moon that day, of course, that causes the solar eclipse. All right. So palpable new frequencies level up many oversouls group, oversoul groups. So your oversoul group is responsible for about 300,000 expressions on the planet. So when you have a, 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 an elevation, an ascension of oversoul groups, it affects a lot of people. So pay attention. All you need to do is pay attention. The dropping off of the, of the old self support for embodiers throws us into this rapid self revelation. And of course, you change the self in order to change your experience. But what, what, what my team is kind of forecasting is the habitual or comfort uh, uh, comfortable activities that you found to kind of keep yourself in the old self or keep attached to the old self, that support is going to start dropping off. And it's been consistently dropping off, which is why so many people feel so disconnected from their old self. You're crossing the bridge to, to the new thing. However, that new expression needs to release. It needs to energetically release what you were because the way that you perceive the world has changed and the way that you perceive yourself has to change, which means all of the lower levels, thoughts, mental, emotional, egoic, even the physical level is transforming right now, but you're going to have to retrain all of those lower levels to play the role that they have for your in your ascension process, your ascended self already. So the solar flash experiences that have been happening since December 2019 got anchored into the collective back in December 2019, and the solar flash is not a flare. It's It looks like you're in meditation, and it looks like the sun is swelling and kind of swallowing everything. That's just the visual. The real purpose of that solar flashing experience is a rewrite of your consciousness. It's a peeling away of the old, and it feels, it, it's quite overwhelming. This happened several times to me personally, so obviously we're anchoring in that experience through the Stargates for people to have a global, palpable experience of that when the time comes. But it's a rewriting of consciousness. You will feel like all of this experience and everything connected to it, the body, the mind, what you were, what you are, everything, it just collapses and it washes away. And you'll feel that. And they get longer and more profound the more of these experiences you have. But you'll feel like, oh my goodness, this is the moment where all of that old reality completely collapses completely disappears and you allow it to wash over the body because the body of course is integrating this. You parent the body through that experience. It's okay, relax. The body really wants to kind of freak out during that because it thinks it's going away. But of course we're bringing in our higher perception to perceive, okay, this is my transformation to light body and it's not a one moment thing. We're anchoring that experience so that the, the global experience of that will be received in an open, calm way, right? That's a, that's a lot of our, our journey, our mission. Okay. Coming into solstice. Sunday, June 20th at 8.31 p.m. Pacific Daylight, daylight Time. That is, the same, that is the reason why the Crystalline Convergence event here in Sedona was moved 
to solstice weekend because these energies of eclipse, eclipse, solstice create this grand opening of a brand new energy. And it does support, yes, organic stargate alignment, incredibly powerful zero point energies. Your sisters and brothers will be anchoring that here in Solstice. You can join us on the live stream if you so choose. But you can also get outside on the land and tap in to that new energy that is rewriting your consciousness. So collectively, we're doing this because we're anchoring in the physical, which is an important part of anchoring these new energies is to get together in the physical, hence all of the interference going on with getting people together. You know that. All right, embodiment of the crystal and light body, big light body activation. Light body is associated with unity consciousness, a pure experience of unity consciousness, which is quite incredible because you're going to start feeling what unity consciousness truly is. This is a big focus of our solstice event. So that is, that is coming. Unified golden race codes activate conduits of pure consciousness. So those of you who have made it their service, their highest trajectory to actually become a conduit of that energy, this is going to be huge support for coherent hearts and service to the ascension and alignment with feeling, creating through the feeling state and utilizing the new frequencies through the heart stargate. You're going to feel your heart is going to be different with each of this eclipse, eclipse, solstice. Focus on the heart. You're going to start feeling differently. And please don't project your, your journey onto other people right now. This is a great opportunity to unify with similar hearts and service, with feeling the frequency and really receiving all that's available. All right, Crystalline Convergence Weekend. Tap into the collective field of unified hearts because we're going to be broadcasting. So that is just, uh, oh, I know it's a lot. It feels like a lot, but we're so ready for it. We are rolling with this ascension process right now. You're going to notice through Unity Consciousness, which is right now, I know I haven't been on video for a while. I've been teaching. But I've had level up classes and, and all kinds of things presenting to prepare us for these energies right now. So if you want to participate in that, get over on ascensionpath.com and join us. We've got webinars and the crystalline convergence and just a lot going on. So join us if you felt alone in this process. You are not alone any time during this process. I send all of you all of my love and support. Get over to sign up for the newsletter if you've missed out on the intel and use it. Use it for prompting the self-evaluation that is necessary to level up to our next state of unified consciousness. Thank you.